three. Start your text with the word radio. Now, 16 minutes to 8 o'clock, parents in Crawley are vowing to continue to fight to stop 35 staff redundancies at their local high school. At a heated public meeting last night, parents and unions claimed the needs of the pupil at Thomas Beckett Community College won't be met by the cuts. We've got a major problem at Thomas Beckett. We've got a major problem... There are 22 teachers and support staff jobs to go. Six out of seven special education teachers' jobs to be cut in a school that has a high level of specialist support for children who need uh, additional support. Well, the uh, Kemnall Academy Trust says that savings have to be made. Let's hear more from our education correspondent, Lauren Moss. A million pounds in the red. Those who run Thomas Bennett Community College are consulting on how to balance the books. 35 support staff could be made redundant and special educational needs teachers will be cut. The Trust says, like many other schools in Sussex, it's been hit hard by a lack of government funding and a drop in pupil numbers. We've looked at all options that are open to us and this is the most viable option is to, to restructure the school. The Trust had originally planned to close the sixth form. That now won't happen, but its proposals have been met with angry opposition. The plans that they've put forward for restructure will damage the school, will damage uh, the, the ability of staff to, to look after the pupils, and it will make the school less attractive uh, for the community. And The Academy Trust, who runs the school, have cash reserves of over £7 million. They can fix this. Right. I, I know that we're looking at the background to this. One of the problems they have, the, the, the building at the, uh, the, the college there was actually done by a private finance initiative. And it's, uh, it's cost them a million pounds every year just to pay back on the buildings alone, which obviously is, is not good news. Now, uh, Faye Carey Farmer is uh, a parent of a child who goes to the school. Hello. Thank you. Thanks for coming on, Ke Faye. Hello, that's fine. Hi. Uh, you, your 13 year old, uh, he, he has autism, he uh, needs special support, doesn't he? Yes, he gets um, 27 hours a week of support, um, partially funded by the school and partially funded by West Sussex. Right, and you're worried that that, what used to be one to one care, is now being diluted? Yes, it, it's definitely being diluted. Even my son, my son himself comes um, home and says, I'm. I'm not getting the support because they're helping other people and, and I still need help. So, so th let, let, let's explain this. So the, the, in, in the past, there would be a teaching assistant who was concentrating on, on your son and perhaps yeah. there'd be a general teaching assistant who was helping the teacher with the other children. But the yeah. cuts mean that that general teaching assistant has gone and, and what you're saying is that the specialist teaching assistant is being pulled into a job that they're not meant to do. Yes, that's, that's definitely correct. Is it, and, having and an, is it having an impact on Jake, it, though? It is. His sleeping has deteriorated. His, his anxiety as well, because he's got anxiety. His anxiety levels are going really high. His heart rate is changing. He's under heart specialist because um, it's actually having an effect on him physically as well. It's, it's, we're having to go to mental health teams and, and all different things because we fought for so long to get the education and healthcare plan for him so that he can get that 27 hours of support. And now the, the teaching assistants are already leaving. Quite a few. He'd done cards for four teachers the other day. Well, from, what, what are your options? The unit that he, might you be able to move Jake to a different school or, or what? There is, there is no other school locally that deals with children um, that has the autism unit attached to a mainstream school. So if it's not mainstream school, it will have to be a special school, um, which is taken away from the children that have got really, really, really um, physical and, and other disabilities. Um, and his academics cannot be reached in them school. Sure. You must be really worried. But I'm very, very concerned. Right. I've got two children with autism. My daughter went to Thomas Bennett and she was permanently excluded and moved to one of these special schools, which has been fantastic for her, but it hasn't been able to stretch her academically. Yeah, thank you so much. Good luck with that. Um, I, I think one of the troubles is, is is that if the school just don't physically have enough staff to, to help children with special needs, then exclusion sometimes is one, one of the ways that they have to do things. Um, Paul McLaughlin.
is from the South East um, National Education Union and is on the line. Hello, Paul. Good morning. Realistically, if the Academy Trust is short of money, it has to make some cuts somewhere. Well, clearly schools are desperately underfunded and we're campaigning to try and uh, persuade the government and others to support the proper funding of schools. But this particular school is the victim of, of several things. You mentioned the private finance initiative. But also, um, it's it's a victim of the academy system, um, which is actually this this is exposing the the fault line of the academy system. You don't These think that's value for money? Well, they're run as businesses. Uh, they're detached from the community. Well, businesses make money, so maybe businesses are good for schools. It, 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 frankly, uh, that's just ridiculous. I mean, the the the, the reality is that the money that they, this particular trust they cream. £170,000 a year off off of the school before it even gets anywhere near the students. Um, they're unaccountable. They operate well, 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 yeah, secret. but schools, but the county council creams a certain amount of a school budget off for schools in the in in the uh, in the conventional system. So I mean, that's no different to to you know, you need to have some sort of back office facility, don't you, at any organisation. Yes, but if the council get it wrong, we can complain and we can do something about that. We can we can de- deselect, you know, we can we can vote the the people out if they get it wrong. With the academy system that we've got, and and the the the, the, the chief executive that earns more than the prime minister, by the way, uh, is telling this community that they need to make savings and tighten their belts. It's ridiculous. I mean, I paid tribute to Faye and 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 the parents and community last night. We had a wonderful meeting, a magnificent uh, support from the. Community community who want to do something about this. We can do something about this. They've got, as you, your reporter mentioned, they've got reserves uh, that can that can be, this money that's creamed off can be recycled back in to save uh, this school and, and make it a viable thing. OK, Paul, thank you very much indeed from the National Education Union. We'll, we'll watch that one. We'll uh, hear, hear more from uh, someone who works in education who can tell us the need for that sort of pastoral care and the, the sort of the special needs care that children uh, like uh, Jake are getting or not getting in this case. Nine minutes to uh, eight o'clock, BBC Sussex.